Boo, it looks like somebody thought that they had got away with the way that they treated you. They thought they had got away with being dirty, no good, shameless, trifling. They just thought they got away with being a thief, a liar, a cheater, a skipper, whoever, whatever this person did. They really thought they had gotten away with it, okay? But they didn't know about this thing called delayed karma, honey, all right? They went along thinking life was good, thinking things were sweet, as my daughter would say, okay? Thinking everything was good and sweet. Thought they had got away with the dirt that they did, right? But now that karma is starting to hit. It's starting to trickle in, honey, okay? And so with that, it's like a slap in the face for these wrongdoers that thought, okay? You thought... You you thought you was big and bad, okay? You thought that you was invincible. You thought you was untouchable, right? But this person is realizing that's not the case at all because what goes around definitely comes around, all right? Welcome to another collective read with me, Duchess, where we're going to find out what you need to know right here, right now. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind for whoever the hell is for. And yes, it's a timeless reading, baby. So let's find out more about this. Look. This person is about to experience a lot of blockages. We got the gate. A barrier keeps you from your goal, okay? So this person thought they were high and mighty. They thought everything was good. They thought they were in control. I'm here in the master of their destiny. See, this person became overconfident is what happened, okay? They thought that they had all this power, all this control. They feeling like they the master of their destiny while they sitting there, you know, betraying people to get to this destiny They that they think they supposed to have, right? But what they're learning here is that there's a lot more blockages than they thought yeah baby this is too hard for them okay they're realizing when they're trying things it's not working out okay they're realizing here when they're attempting to make strides and moves and growth in their life it's not working out i'm seeing somebody with their head hanging low somebody shaking their head like why i can't get a break like what's going on why is nothing working out for me all of a sudden and it's like oh you thought you had got away with what you did that's the thing but now you see it you didn't okay now you see seeing the things are blocked now you see seeing the things are not working out well for you and that's what your ass deserve okay so spirit is saying here that this person is really learning here right that they're not as good as they think, okay? They're not as perfect and powerful and enhanced as they think, okay? This person is realizing that they need something else on their side. Hmm, hmm, I wonder what, okay? Maybe a spiritual uh, um, connection, okay? Maybe a divine source, God, the universe, spirit, oh, some angels, some ancestors, or somebody. They need to talk to somebody because they've been on the wrong path okay and then they realizing that this path ain't working out the way they thought it was yep okay so spirit is saying here that this person is gonna have to bend they knee they gonna have to beg for mercy this is this is getting rough honey okay this is getting rough so what this person is not understanding this is just the tip of the iceberg is what i'm hearing it's just starting out as just blockages but the ultimate energy here for this person's karma is that they're gonna be meant to bend the knee to bow down here okay and to really realize that they're not running anything they're gonna have to notice who's in charge around here because they thought they was in charge okay so spirit is saying here that this person is going to be having a lot of blockages when it comes to the people in their life so something is happening with this person where i feel like in the past this is somebody that could kind of get away with saying and doing whatever they want Okay, they they just was getting away with things. It's like this is what boosted their ego so much. But now what's happening is with the relationships in their life, they gonna have to feel like they walking on eggshells all of a sudden. So in the past, if they made other people feel like they was the ones walking on eggshells, no, it's them now. Okay, they're scared to say anything do anything. This person's real stressed. I'm hearing this person has some sort of mania in their mind. Like this person is also losing it as part of their karma. It's like in their mind, because they start to lose confidence as things are not going right and they have all these blockages and then they feel like certain people is turning against them and they can't say or do anything right in the situation. What's happening is this is diminishing this person's confidence, i.e. they ego because they beyond confident. They just an ego maniac. Okay. This is diminishing this person's energy because they're realizing here 
that they not as together as they thought they was. And so this is heartbreaking for them because they really thought <laughs> they was all of that in a bag of chips, honey. So Spirit is saying here that they're going through this period of they're going to need a lot of strength here and they're going to learn a lesson, honey. They're going to learn today, okay? They're going to learn that they're not as mighty and powerful as they think. They're not as strong and in charge as they think. And this is one of those people that likes to feel that way. They like to feel domineering, hateful, negative towards others. Uh-uh, no, we ain't doing it. They feel like they can just take what they want. No, no that's not the way life works, baby. Uh-uh. So, Spirit is saying here that this is a time in their life where they're going to spend a lot of time crying. And they're going to be wishing for some gentleness, hoping for some gentleness. So this is going to force this person here to have to change their intentions from very negative intentions because they're going to be wallowing in so much sorrow. This is a spiritual journey for this person. So why is karma for them? Okay, this karma, this stress is meant to make them change and do better and be better. Now, we're going to see if they will. I know a lot of people have a hard time. They need to hit the ultimate rock bottom to finally get better and do better. But this is the energy that's going towards them because it's trying to bring this chance. But Spirit is saying this person is going to be begging for this energy of gentleness, hoping for gentleness, hoping for something to be good. And so they're going to set their intentions, like I said, as they hit rock bottom, baby. Then they want to set intentions here to do right and be right and be better. So what I got to tell you is that right now, karmically this person is due to hit a rock bottom and so for each of them they rock bottom is going to be different because some people you know they give in a lot quicker than others others are more stubborn or more like a fixed sign like myself scorpios leo aquarius sits okay i think taurus as well too fixed honey these fixed signs we don't know how to act sometimes okay so this person is realizing they are going to be hitting rock bottom okay because that's the only way they learn hmm yeah i'm seeing a lot of agony but again spirit is saying this is meant to open their heart space yeah because this is somebody that always likes conflict here this is somebody that has brought in so much negativity here that it's like they have to hit this rock bottom to reopen their heart space what more is happening than the rock bottom here what's going on with this Spirit is saying that they're going to have to tap into their deepest and darkest emotions. Ooh, and that's going to hurt, baby. Ooh, that's going to hurt, okay? So this person here, I'm hearing that this person has lived in denial for a lot of their life. And look at this, the Seven of Cups. They've lived in a lot of illusions for a lot of their life. The moon, yes, okay? The cards is just saying everything I'm saying, hunty. Okay, look, this person has been very deluded okay they've lived in a lot of illusions in their lifetime and so they're gonna have to now face their emotional truth they're gonna have to face the truth of themselves they're gonna have to face the truth of the repercussions of their actions they're gonna have to face the truth that they're not as powerful as they thought they was and they need to start giving reverence okay at the end of the day so there's something here where this person, I heard reverence and restitution. They owe up, honey. They owe for the people that have done dirty. They owe you. They owe others restitution. Okay? Now, look. This person is going to be feeling like their world is crumbling down because they have to sit and dwell in this negative energy that they've been carrying around and trying to spew out to others. No, baby. Boomerang. It's, <laughs> it came right back to you. Okay? You're going to pay your karmic debts. You're not going to spew this out to everybody else. No, it's not happening. So this person is having to overcome certain illusions and tap into their heart space. And this is extremely painful for this person because what's happening is they're feeling such a low self-worth. And if they treated a lot of people wrong, including you, if they've been dirty, if they've been shady, shysty, maybe they need to feel this shame and this guilt, right? So they can get their act together and not repeat the same behaviors. Because they're not getting a pat on the back for the behaviors like they thought they was going to get. They're not getting the rewards for the negative behaviors like they thought they was going to get. Spirit is saying here that this person is going to end up. This person is meant to do some sort of level of change here, okay? But it's not until they get into that hierophant mode, not until they go through this spiritual 
the spiritual enlightenment. So as they hit this rock bottom, they feel like the only option is change because they don't know what else to do. They're realizing they have no control to take themselves out of the rock bottom. So this person is, this is the most, oh, I'm hearing this is so painful. Yes, I'm like seeing someone like, ah, like screaming because it's so painful because this person is such a control freak, okay? This person has been so domineering and just, ugh, okay? And so to release this, to actually have to be a decent human being, that's the biggest karma. They don't like it. This is this is driving them crazy. I'm seeing, okay, you know when there's like a dog and they have their tail wagging between their legs because they just trying to come and make up or be sweet. This is giving me this vibe like this person here wants to completely change after they go through this rock bottom. And then they're they're wanting to come together and try to see if if you know. I guess anybody likes them after they went through their karmic battles, but it might be better for them to move on because I feel like some of them did way too much damage, right? But they're hoping to rebuild some sort of happiness after this. Yeah, this person's going to be looking for their happiness after this. Spirit is saying here that justice is going to be served because what's happening is this person's going to be brought to their knees until they surrender. It's simple enough. And so this person is going to be in a forced surrendering because as it stated if the bottom ain't low enough it will get lower and lower and lower until they surrender and stop being a jerk okay and stop being narcissistic stop being an egomaniac stop being a user stop being a taker stop being rude and obnoxious whatever they are okay this person is going to rock bottom and it's a forced change so this is why the karma is so good because this person really hated themselves they're gonna end up loving themselves but it's not until they treat people right and they don't understand that they're learning how to treat people right is the only the only answer okay they're gonna have to absolve their sins by changing and that's the only answer so it benefits everyone around them and not just them okay so this karma is actually meant to benefit everyone around this person not just them okay all right boo you can like share subscribe follow comment all that good stuff let me know what's really good you can join my winner circle where there's exclusive content free readings and all types of other goodies you can also book on my website or leave a donation all links below in the comments or the description box i'm gonna like i'm gonna talk to you baby later all right bye <laughs> bye